Hey guys, Chris here. Today we're going to take a look at two backpacker chairs. And I get it, for a lot of people, a backpacker chair is a luxury item. But nowadays they make them pretty lightweight. And after hiking, whether you're going 2 or 20 miles hiking, it is sometimes a nice thing to have is a chair to sit on after a hard day of hiking. So today we have the Trekology Yizzy, I can't say that, Trekology Yizzy Light 750, and we have the Helinox Chair Zero. This is 40 bucks, this is 120 bucks. We're gonna take a look at the difference. That's next. Okay, so first up we have the Trekology Yizzy Light 750, that's 750 grams, which is 1.65 pounds which is 26.4 ounces. So it's a, it's a pretty light chair. A lot of these chairs in this price range, which is $39.99 or 40 bucks, let's just say 40 bucks, are about two pounds or more. And so this is the lightest one that I know of uh, in that price range for a backpacker's chair. This has uh, packs down really nice and small at 12 and a half inches by about six inches, 5.9 inches. But you can see that right there. That's the full chair packed down, pretty nice. And has a Velcro strap right here that is attached to the leg here, the bottom middle leg. And this is all shock corded, comes, puts together really nicely. It just falls together almost, which is pretty cool. And that's how most of these chairs are made, but you can see it's coming together really easily. This is aero grade aluminum alloy on the frame here. And it's, this one sits pretty low to the, very low to the ground. That's not pretty low, that's very low to the ground. But it is a very comfortable chair. Uh, the backrest is mostly mesh. Look at that, you're looking right through it right there but the backrest is mostly mesh super reinforced corners here on it i like that and also this little loop here when you're stretching it over the frame it really helps to do that so you're not having to grab it with your thumb on the corner which can slip off so this is very helpful there's a logo on the both sides so you don't have to figure out which side is right side and then you just simply tuck it in the corners like that goes together really quick and again take the loop pull that out there we go and uh, really a very lightweight comfortable chair this velcro strap can wrap around this bottom rod here and velcro in this is kind of cool there's a flexible mesh pocket on the right side here on this side look at that and you can put a cell phone in there if you wanted it fits perfectly look at that put some sunglass in there if you wanted but it's just really well thought out it's not the big flappy pouch on the outside but it's a mesh pocket built in i think that's really cool again you can see the uh the hub here really well built and just a very short leg shot corded and um, when you sit in it you just you sit pretty low and you just you sit pretty it's pretty far back so it forces you to just relax and enjoy the view and that's all we're trying to do but it is really comfortable it's not too tight in these points here where it, where it slopes in and it's mesh which makes it uh, pretty lightweight obviously and it's really a sharp looking design I think it's a really sharp looking design and you can see how it's like I said, it's got the X like that, whereas the other one is designed like this. But see, it forces you to sit way back like this and totally relax. I like it, it's very comfortable. I don't feel pinched or anything in the sides here. And it's, uh, I'm in the sand as well and I'm not sinking. I, part of it is because of the legs, they're not straight in they're angled like that so i think that helps but i'm sure um i can feel it sinking a little bit but very sturdy 39 dollars very interesting let's take a look at the helinox chair zero 
Okay, so the Helinox Chair Zero is one pound and has a 265 pound capacity. So it's more capacity than the other ones. $120, that is one of the big differences right there. 120 bucks, something to really consider obviously. And you can see it packs down pretty small here. It's about 13.8 by about four inches, 3.9 inches. So it's a little longer, but it's a little narrower. Packs down really nice and thin though, narrow like that. And this the seat cover itself does not have the mesh like the, the other one has. It's got this opening here, very sturdy, good corners on it here. It does not have the little loop strap to pull it over the frame. But again, you can see super durable design on that. The frame is anodized aluminum poles, very strong. Puts together really quickly like this. See that? I, I like the shock cord. Could you imagine having to line up each one of these poles and kind of figure out where, where each one goes? And right away you can see the frame design is the crossbars going like this, whereas the, the Yizzy Go light was like that. And then the angle was a little lower like that. But interesting, very interesting. I think that helps with stability. Very tall back. It's got a, definitely a... It's definitely got a taller back on it. Look at this back post here. This one's a little different that you have to make sure you find where it says this side up right there. And then that means that is the back of your backrest. Slide it over the corners. And again, there's no loops on that to pull, but I just take the, uh, the leg and push it, drop it in there. It's not too hard. Very solid, very durable chair. <laughs> and very lightweight, one pound again, to compare it to the 1.65. And uh, let's try that out. Again, you got the, the sand and the dirt and the same kind of legs. Those will dig into the sand and the dirt uh, if it's really deep and you can sink a little bit. You just kind of got to find that little happy spot. The happy place. <laughs> there we go. And this one sits, the back is a little uh, more vertical, whereas the other one leaned back farther. But this is very comfortable. Now some people have had an issue with it right here in the hips being a little bit tighter in how the material comes in like that versus opening. And it tends to have a little pressure point right there. For some people, for some people they don't notice it. So it depends on body size, how tall you are, your weight. And uh, so, but overall it's, it gets really good reviews as far as comfort. But something to think about, you may want to try it first before you commit to it and make sure you're comfortable with it. You don't want to have it for a week of backpacking and every night after 20 minutes your back is sore when you're sitting around the campfire. But something to think about. Anyways. Helinox Chair Zero. I think they should have called it Chair One because it's one pound. Zero, I was like, I don't know really where they get the zero. <laughs> it has some weight to it, obviously. So, all right, let's compare them side by side. Okay, so right away you can see that the Chair Zero, Chair One, <laughs> one and two, uh, sits higher right there versus the Yizzy Go Light. You can see them side by side right there. And this has got all that mesh in it, but it's very durable. And this does zero mesh, and you can see the openings there on it. But uh, overall, I think I really like the Trekology Yizzy Light. It's really well built. It's light or light enough for me to uh, be comfortable with carrying it. It's got a couple of nice extra features. I li do like the little pocket right here. This this one, the Helinox does not have a pocket on the side, anything like that. You can see it's just pretty clean like that. Okay, so these are both really well-built, well-designed, lightweight chairs. This one is obviously lighter at one pound, the Helinox Chair Zero. 
But this one is a much better price. This is 120 bucks. This is 40 bucks. I think if I had to pick one chair, I would go with the Yizzy Go Light. 40 bucks. It's a lightweight chair, and at the end of the day, you just want something to sit on. I could buy three of these for the price of one of those uh, Helinox Chair Zeros. So, but uh, it is lighter. If you want lighter, there you go. All right, I hope that was helpful. Find yourself a chair or take care of yourselves if you're in the backcountry. It is nice to just sit and relax instead of finding a log or a rock or a spot to sit. <laughs> if you can get it in your pack and you can afford it, so it's worth having. But thank you for watching. I really appreciate you guys. And uh, we'll see you next time. As, and as always, keep hiking.